Hello everyone, Smox here from Celebrant Quest. I am a registered civil marriage celebrant in Australia, which means that I love love, but I also love playing video games. And today we are back in Baldur's Gate 3 playing uh, a Dark Urge Bard character. Mm, I've just come into this, I don't know, this sort of random door leading from where the uh, spiders were underground in um, in the, the village, the blighted village. And I have no idea what I'm supposed to be finding down here. Uh, but here we are. All right, cool. So we've got lots of just different bits and bobs. So that's great. Light on my feet. Okay, we got a door there, which leads to a more of a room. What is this? Oh, there's a locked door there. Um, let's go through this one. We can open this one. Bedroll, everything. Oh, what's that? A wooden chest. We've got a lot of blacksmith tools. And weapons. Oh! What am I perceiving? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, that genuinely scared me. Oh, that's funny as hell. <laughs> Excuse me, everybody. Oh, good one. <laughs> Smoke powder barrel. Um, now this one's Close locked, one. so I will need a starion. With pleasure. Ooh, just good job, matey. What do we got? Ooh, a steel forged sword. Not that we need it. Blacksmith's note and infernal iron. A blacksmith's note. What does that say? Specimen. Metal. Hardness 9.5. Very hard. Melting point. Unknown color silver. Markings. Red lacerations. Flecked with yellow dust. Source. The underdark? Question mark. Notes. Gift from. Redacted. Faintly sulfuric odor. Forging unsuccessful. Will not melt or warp at standard temperature. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I'll have to jump back down, won't I? Well, I guess... Um, I guess that can go to Gale. Oh, High Cliff's Blueprints. Precise arcs and neatly drawn lines from the blueprints of three weapons. A great sword, a sickle, and a dagger. Each length and angle is marked with exact measurements and forging instructions are printed carefully along the bottom of the page, emphasizing an unusual ingredient. Sasser bark. The sasser bark can only be applied to an ordinary unmodified blade. They call for susa bark. Oh. There's only one place I'm finding a susa tree. The Underdark. Oh. What was that? The weapon. Um, la la la. The Masterwork weapon. The Sasser tree can be found deep in the Underdark. We found blueprints for a Masterwork weapon. Ah, cool. All right. We've got short swords, etc. Blacksmith bellows, a melting furnace. Hmm. Alrighty. Um, do I need to like forge these short swords? Is that I what wonder. that means? Well, I have no idea, but I guess to do it, I will need to go to the Underdark. So, can I come through here? This looks like it's cracked too. That's what that other one looked like. Oh! Why, hello there. Can you chop this? You can, mate. Good job. It would help if you actually did it, though. <laughs> Here we go. One more. Beautiful. Good job. All right, so... Oh, this leads us back to the spiders. Okie dokie, got ya. 
Wait a second, who's that? Smux, Smux, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Is that blood? No, never mind. Do you not want to jump because you're gonna die? Well, how about this? Let's do Featherfall. Here we go. Now, jump down. There you go, my sweet, you're okay. <laughs> Let's join the rest of the party. Why are you walking so slowly? Are you... Oh, is it the feather fall? I don't know, but I better rest until I get into another fight, I think. Because, uh, yeah, we're like, we're like pretty beat up right now. So... Yeah, all right, let's go to camp, let's rest, and let's see if we can take out the rest of these spiders, eh? I mean, we've got tons of um, camp supplies, so it doesn't really matter. Hey, Shadowheart. Uh, who else have we got? Withers, Astari, and Lazar. Does anyone want to talk to us? Probably not. I wonder how Gale's going. Let's end the day. Oh, Astarian. Oh, I'm encumbered. That's why I'm walking so slowly. <laughs> All right, Astarian, what have you got to say? Let's see. Hmm, just thought of something. There you are, my friend. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> At your service. What happened? Were you attacked? Are you drunk? Uh, at your service? Are you now? <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep, darling. <laughs> Thankfully, oh my God. I had my needs met this evening. I found a bear. He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. Ah, uh, what? Astaria, does that mean you don't need me anymore? Oh my god, I feel so used. <laughs> yes, I'd do it again. <laughs> Alright, so it sounds like a dangerous meal. You seem happy. No need to drink humanoid blood then? As long as you're leaving mine alone. Um. Well, it, uh, a dangerous meal. I mean, he's fine. You seem happy, I guess. Let's go with, let's ask him if he's happy. You're comparing plonk to vintage wine. You can oh. make merry with either, but they're not the same. Okay, point the taken. The fed me rats and bugs. And when you're used to drinking from a sewer, even plonk is a marked improvement. Okay. <laughs> Mate, this game, freaking awesome. All right, sounds delicious <laughs> does it matter blood is blood isn't it well that sounds very dismissive rats and what did you do to deserve that Ooh, that's not nice okay i'm gonna say sounds delicious <laughs> <laughs> it was exactly as appetizing as you think still that was the past i'll never have to grovel for him again yes true you can start over you can be better than you were, uh, than what he made you. Maybe not, but you'll grovel before the mind flayers if you keep using that tadpole. <laughs> you sound very sure. Um, you can be better than what he made you. I'm just thinking, did Casador make him the way he is or? Was he kind of always like that? I mean, apart from the, like, luring people and getting them killed and that sort of thing. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's just say you can be better than what he made you. Exactly. I can be better than him. Oh, God. Stronger, I knew it was an ego more thing. More powerful. More... Oh. You meant be kinder. Pet bugs, yes. that sort of thing. <laughs> I've no objection to being nice, of course. Once I have the power to bend others to my will. <laughs> Wait, I knew it. So he's like, this is the thing with this. He's not nice. He just seems like he's not nice. 
which is fine. I don't know why I'm feeling so conflicted in this moment because he's he's great. <laughs> In the context of the game, of course. So you think power lets you do anything free from consequences? You're free now, that's what matters. We're not powerless. The tadpoles are quite the asset. Well, you... Th yeah, do you think power lets you do that? Because that would be a damn shame. And also, we're not powerless. Let's go with we're not powerless. <laughs> Indeed they are. And now that I can walk in the sun... <laughs> Well, that opens all manner of doors. It could open some coffins, too. <laughs> the fuck no, is he on about? These tadpoles are a gift <laughs> I intend to use to the fullest. You should do the same. I feel like that whole conversation was just completely like he just lost his damn mind. <laughs> oh, my God. Just like opened his brain and just his thoughts just fell out into my lap. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh shit, what's Tonight happened you now? Can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming. Skewered in abject agony. Oh, God. <laughs> Sigh dreamily at the fantasy. Go for a walk and try to stop yourself from retching. I mean, it was pretty bad. Why don't we go for a walk? barely complies you feel such rushes from your thoughts of the dead woman why oh did she die the mystery gnaws at your pounding heart who the hell is this jubilant <gasps> day i have found your vile self at last who the hell are you <laughs> Skeleritas fell your loyal and ever adoring butler. I followed my what? you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. We have? <laughs> what in the hells do you mean you're my butler? About dead time someone respected my godlike depravity. <laughs> like that one get away from me i'm in a nightmare aren't i oh my god <laughs> let's do number two the, the godlike depravity my lordly reprobate I, I missed you ever so i found you following the stench of that bard <sighs> she reeked across the coast <laughs> like a piece of dog mark on the road oh my gosh Oh my gosh. I can still smell her gore too. What a fair perfume. Oh my gosh. We could just really lean into it then, obviously. Did you cause me to kill her? Wait, what? Did you? Don't put this on other people. I didn't kill her. It happened while I was asleep. It was bliss to kill her in front of everyone. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, this is gross uh it happened while i was asleep well that's true but i don't know if that i didn't kill her I, it should be i th i don't know if i killed her basically oh my god i'm gonna go with number four it was bliss oh, oh my god it <laughs> seems you've become quite the exhibitionist without me i can only congratulate you on your indecency Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. Oh, what is it? You what was earned it? this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. Oh my god, I'm cool. sure Master will be better soon. 
A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. <laughs> What's his name? Scalaritus Fell. I'm definitely going to forget that name. Can't wait till your next act of shameless barbarity. Well, neither can I. You're going to tell me everything about my past life. There will be no more barbarity. Not likely. I am already disgusted at myself. <laughs> God. This prize isn't from my tadpole, is it? I want him to tell me everything about my life. Though I would love to regale you with your past triumphs, uh, I cannot. I am forbidden to interfere. Our debtors will not allow it. Be true to yourself, my lady. Okay. Fine. So he's just saying, like, go with the, like, killer instinct. That's weird as hell, man. The Deathstalker mantle. Like shoulder pads? The Deathstalker mantle. What the hell? The shadow itself. Once per turn, when you kill an enemy, shroud yourself in primeval darkness to become invisible. But I don't kill any enemies. Oh, it's a cloak. Well, mantle, shoulders. Yeah, okay, got it. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to give that to Astarian. Because I don't kill anyone. He does. Oh, yes. Beautiful. All right, cool, 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 cool. What's this? A great axe. What am I to do? It's I don't know why, but I really enjoyed that interaction. <laughs> I thought that was really fun. All right. Does anyone else Should have anything to say? Well, does Astarian have anything to say now that I got a visitor in the night? What can I do for you, my friend? Um, I'll just tell him. I was just wondering when you'd invite me back for a bite. So I still have Bloodless, even though he didn't come to me last night, I don't think, because he had the animal. Is that right or no? I'm not sure. I can't even tell now. He does it in my sleep. Oh my come god. On, don't leave me in suspense. Oh. How are you feeling? No erring <laughs> tentacles? No sudden cravings for a more cerebral diet? Lol. <laughs> I'm feeling great. Consuming these tadpoles could give us quite the advantage. Now you mention it, I do feel a sudden unrelenting urge to crack open your... Never mind. Uh, no signs of seromorphosis taking effect, if that's your concern. Um, I think this is a joke, so let's say, now that you mention it... Complete with ribaldry as always. Well, mm -hmm. you could provide no better proof that you are not, in fact, about to turn into a mind flare. <laughs> Famously humorless, Olyphids. The tyrannical enslavement of all other living creatures hardly lends itself to levity. Should your wit begin to suffer, only then must we worry. Is <laughs> there another matter I you love wish you to girl. discuss? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, um, I never realized it was so I easy to cast you magic. Not. Don't Long. get me wrong. You did well. The somatic component, the verbal component, even the focus on the inner self that invites Mistra in. But I was still your conduit. To perform such a feat alone requires much and arduous study. Yet oh, it is life's sure. most worthy pursuit in my impartial, if not humble, opinion. <laughs> Alrighty. Your Do you need any approach to my magical problem artifacts? is most encouraging. But it is a delicate process to keep my condition stable. I do not yet need to consume an item, but keep it close by. It will not be too much longer. Okay, mate. Cursed All righty, let's go. Thing.
so... Uh, so it's telling me not to be down here, I think. But let's just try. Might be There's useful. a torch. Um, they caused the vibrations or something. Let's see if we can cross here anyway. Oh, webbed. That's no good. Ooh, what's there? Oh, they're the dead spiders. That's good. Okay, so these are the dead spiders. So we already took care of them. Oh, there's loot. Oh, greater healing potion. Oh my, I'm really going to have to go and... Oh, what's that? A spurred band. What does that do? Frantic urgency. During combat, when the wearer starts, uh, sorry, starts their turn with 50% hit points or less, they gain momentum for one turn. Um, is momentum the movement speed? Movement speed. Okay. Well, why don't I just use it? Alrighty, cool. Oh, a dead goblin child. What's over here? I'm getting distracted. Oh my god, all the touches you could ever want. There's just so much shit here. Hello, my dear. No, oh, Astarian, I didn't mean to press you. <laughs> Most of this book's pages have been carefully burned away. Those that remain contain a single sentence written in varying states of agitation. In her form, I find ecstasy. The spell is not enough. Huh. That's weird. All sorts of stuff here. Ooh, a heavy chest. Ooh. Spider step boots, immune to being in webbed. Oh, hello. Now, Lazel's already got boots on, so let's send them to Astarian, because I guess Careful, he'll be moving. He'll be moving around. Oh, you can't wear them? Can you not? Huh, what? Where did that go? Oh, they're his camp clothes. And his undies. Okie doke. Or oh, whatever. That's cool. Okay, great. Oh, you know who's not with me? Shovel. I oh, was here one use thing. That's okay. If he was a one use thing, that we had our fun. Dead goblin child. Doesn't sound good. What's over there? Dead goblin. Well, Starion can't be webbed. So that's cool. Come on, Shads, let's go. I can't see any enemies, but it doesn't mean they're not here. Come on, Shadowheart. Hey, if you don't hurry up, I'm gonna have to get Gale, and that's embarrassing. <laughs>
face spider egg. Wonder if I can Right, I can get rid of this phase spider egg. Oh, a spider egg. Can I get rid of that one? I can. In in chorus egg? Nice. I just know there's going to be another... There's going to be another um, battle ahead. Mate. The... What's that? Oh, is that the gem? the gem that we need? Mate, I know there's a spider that's just gonna jump out. Um, if a Starion has no webdy boots on, can he maybe get down there somehow and get it? I don't know, I just know that there's gonna be spiders or something is about to happen. There's no way that there's nothing here to fight. Let's try it. Um, Time for a little death, not a sound. Phase spider egg. Oh yeah, let's go down there. Oh, what's that? Face spider matriarch. Face spider matriarch. Oh look, there's another one down there. Um. Oh, she's almost seeing you there, Astarian. How do you get down here? Can't reach. Can't oh, reach. Pocket. Um. I feel like I need for her to turn around. Go, go, go. And then go down here. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, to be honest. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, there's the answer. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Yeah, Hells is bloody right, mate. Can you actually loot that? <laughs> Wait, where's the rest of the party? You're definitely adventuring, honey, but I feel like I need you to take out those eggs before he gets more of them. Uh, let's go closer. Can you shoot them from here? You can. Let's do I'll it. Strike you down. Oh, you have to get them all individually? All right, we can do that. Not gonna be long until they find out what I'm doing though. Oh, and there's more over here. Shite. Here we go again. Oh. Okay, and webbed. Can I get back into hide mode? My Astarian is actually going to not fare too well, I have a feeling. All right, let's see if I can... Oh, she can't move. Should I hurt? Can you try this? Oh, damn, you're in bloody webbed. With every breath, a purpose. 
Well, Lazelle, I think you should try it. Oh, shit. Let's go, let's go. Alright, hurry up. Because he's faced away. So let's see. God damn it. Can you... Can you... Get this guy? Get him. Alright, so you hit him for... Quite a bit, which is awesome. I... What about... Can Smux... Can Smux reach these from there? Why can't I... Oh, yes, I can. Perfect. Ah, oh, bugger. So she's technically now in combat. <laughs> Going to inspire something to turn the tide. The Starian. Um. I feel like I should go down with a Starian. This might be a bad idea. I don't know. I just feel like I should be down there with the Starian for some reason. Just in case he needs like some healing or whatnot. Jeez, I've got heaps of movement. Can't slow down. Let's try it, Astarian. What about to fail. Shadowheart? She's technically not in combat yet. Let's why don't we hit this guy? Can we hit for eight with our weapon? No. We can hit. Let's try to hit for 10. Let's go. Oh, God damn, you only hit for fucking four. Alrighty, so who are we on? Can't stay idle. Okay, Astarian is definitely in the party. Can you feel death's cold grip? Death's cold grip, maybe. Okay, grab. Did he say it's mine? That's cute as hell. Um. Take this out. I don't know if it's like gonna come alive, but that's quite good. Um, all right, where are our enemies? Oh gosh, up here, down there. That's all right. I feel like that's fine. Um, move back here. to keep going. Yeah. Now we'll just, I guess, see how this plays out. Ooh. Okay. Oh, shove. We could shove him off the edge. Will that kill it? Into the chasm? I don't know. Let's try. Let's try. Yes? No. Yes! Yes, it did it. Okay, fantastic. Mm. Let's see if we can move across. Beautiful. All right, so we're ready for when he hopefully comes near to us. Let's put our shield of faith onto Lazel. Beautiful. Um, uh, we'll, we'll just stay up here. Let's see if we can get any closer. I know you're going to be webbed, honey, but we'll just see. Beautiful. All right. Oh, man. This is not what I wanted, but I feel like if we can survive this, it'll still be worth it. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, sugar. No? Cutting words. Let's do it. Almost noisy cuck. Hmm. Mate, that matriarch's going to absolutely pwn us, isn't it? Oh, dear me. This is not going to be good. All right. So how are we going to... How are we going to do this? I feel like I need Lazel's little... Attack where... Um, she, like, sweeps her blade. I don't... Astarian doesn't have that. How much health do they have? Six. Let's go with a vampire bite on one of them to heal ourselves. Okay, and now let's do just a normal attack. It's just going to have to be the way it is. Right now. Damn, I really chose incorrectly in that kind of way. Um, I'm going to risk the opportunity attack because I think we should all go back up so that maybe we're 
together. Does that make sense? No, screw it. Just stay down here and we'll take out these guys. Um. Yeah. Despite everything. Okay, so what's wrong with you? You've got poisons and simple toxins. You can cure yourself. Let's do that. Oh, I got rid of bloodless as well. Oh, now that's interesting. Ooh, I could shove somebody off the... Yeah, let's try that. So... No, not going to have enough. Ah, oh, buggeration. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, let's just... Uh, where's a greater healing potion? Let's take that. All right. That'll do for us right now. I'm going to move... Close so that I can try to hit one of these guys in a little moment. Oh, dearie me. This does not look good. Uh, Alright, I'm immobilized, so I may as well do proficiency and strength for Lazel. Alright, um. I'm going to heal myself too. Oh, for 10. That was a nice one. And I guess we... Wait. I can't even... Ranged attack. All right. Uh, do I bother trying to move on this web stuff? I mean, she's just... Well, right, let's try it. it. Come on. Ah. Uh, Fuck. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Can I... No, I won't bless anyone because I've got other things on them. Can I at least do this? 25%? The only way I can see that it's beneficial to take off... Uh, to, um... To like get rid of these spider webs is the fact that we just don't get webbed. Oh, look, they both missed. That's awesome. Um, because they phase jump anyway. It would just be that we can't. Oh, bugger! I forgot about those goddamn freaking spiders. We need to get off this web. We need to get off the web because it's just, it's not helping at all. Is he going to land on web? Yep, yeah, they are. All right, let's instead physically attack. Oh, my God, for three. Well done. Uh, yeah, I feel like just being on the web is ridiculous. Let's just get off the web. And I'm going to let Shadowheart burn it. Um... Let's, can we hit from this? I can. That was pretty shit, but okay. My path be true. Can't give up. All right, I need you to get off this web. Great, and let's just burn that down. Because, it's, it's, yeah, there's just no point us getting webbed all the time. I don't know why my thought is to just get rid of it. Maybe they'll come closer to us. I don't know. I'm not going to stand next to Lazel because then they'll, when they shoot the poison, maybe it'll get me too. Oh my god. Seven health. Alright, Astarian. Let's do some pew pew to this one. Oh, I'm invisible. Hell yes. Um, okay, what would be better now? I just don't actually know. I guess going up so I can help stab some of these little spiders. Rails. Uh, yeah, I guess we, let's try to get back up the top. Do I have another healing pot? I do. Nice. Got 
God damn. These bloody spiders. <laughs> I guess we go down and fight. Oh, we'll go back and fight him again. All right, Lazel. Uh, I guess I guess we just stand up here and we shoot them because every time I try to move to them Oh a critical miss dear me uh, I could go again but I don't want to really shoot again I feel like I'm just gonna be running running around I really need the matriarch to just actually come and get us. All right, here come the spiders. Lazel is gonna de be downed, I have a feeling. Whoa, yes. What's she got, like some kind of retaliation? Oh shit, she's down, okay, that's cool. Can I get her up and heal her? I don't think I can. Oh, I can, that is cool. Okay, this really needs to be a big crit. Oh my god, I'm here for four. Um, yeah, not the crit I really wanted, but okay. <laughs> Missed, nice. Oh god damn. All right, well, we best go get him, I guess. I mean, what else, what other choice do we have? With pleasure. Come on. Oof. Damn, man. Another fight. Let's go. Um, a piercing shot. I don't know whether it's best to like help. Mm. I guess I need to keep my, I, keep, I need to keep them alive. So let's heal a Starian. Heroism. Make yourself a target immune to frightened. Okay. I also can use my transfuse health, but I've only got eight health left, so that would be a terrible idea. Um. I could try to hit this guy. 12%. Oh, that's terrible. 60. She's got... There are a lot around them. Why don't I try to take out one of this one? Let's check out this one. Ooh, nice one. I'm gonna move... Oh, not close to the edge. Um, just move a little bit further back from the toxin, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Alright, this is absolutely just the worst. <laughs> Not enough resources. What do you mean? I can't like... Oh, whatever. Just go off into the chasm. Oh my god, that didn't even kill it. <laughs> alright, let's get another... Does it give us another action? Yeah, alright. So we want another action. Let's do a sweeping attack. Does that hit both of you? Yes. Perfect. All right, and then you, buddy, are left for the next one. Oh, yeah, babe. Woo! Okay. I feel like if we could just stabilize now, then we would be a lot better. <laughs> we just need to stabilize. <laughs> Um, yeah. 
let's heal Lazel. Take you. Uh, for five. Um, we'll also heal her again. Ooh, for nine. That was good. Um, I'm going to stand where I am. I feel like this is like a losing battle trying to... Trying to follow them in melee. Mm, let's way. move here because I'm invisible. Ooh, so Maybe I can hate. shoot from advantage? I don't know. Um, I've got a damaging spell. I wonder if that's worth trying to do. Let's try a piercing shot. Where are... 60%? Um, what about the big, big spider matriarch? Where even is that one? Oh. Not currently in in the battle, I see. You made a grave mistake. Ooh, yes, okay, it's got gaping wounds as well. I think that's very good. Oh, I can still heal somebody as well. Oh, and to myself. Let's heal myself. For 14, that's awesome. Let's move a little bit closer. I wonder if that gaping wounds will be enough to take it out. All right, Lazel. Can you jump here? Let's see if you can jump there and then take out that spider. Good job. Here we go. Wait a second. Where the hell did the... I'm just going to do that twice because... Where is the matriarch? Oh, did she just decide to run off? Maybe she did. Well, that's very odd. Okay, let's just uh, let's just say that she did. Um, why have you got that beautiful glow? Is that the bardic inspiration? I think that coat worked well, actually. All right, let's see if we can use this book with the gem. Uh, where's the book? There it is. Let's do it. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You feel the darkness radiating from the book. It's delicious. Place the amethyst in the slot. Yeah, let's do it. Oh. Open the book, destroy it, or put it away. Let's open it. Shadowheart's just there, like watching on. Irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Really? Suddenly, you are capable of anything. Felling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs Mate. shift gently before your eyes. He's gonna words love this. Slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand, and something is trying to reply. Well, quite the page turner. I'll get back to it when I have more time to focus. Okay, because that wasn't weird at all.
Rightio, so I guess we're done with this place now? I really don't know what happened to the matriarch though. That was A very strange. Uh, is there anything else that I've missed? Oh, girls, come on. Like, what else was down here? Oh, I'm just so worried about where that bloody matriarch has gone. Oh, that's just them getting webbed, okay. Oh, what's over here? Yes, Waypoint? Whispering Depths? Why would the waypoint be here? Super weird. It's down there. It looks like you can go down there, but I don't know. Can you go up here? You can. Was this where the matriarch was originally? Maybe, possibly, yeah, I think so. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back, sell some stuff, come back to this waypoint, and then I'm really interested if we can go into that depths down there. You know what? Let's go and talk to Korga, and we're going to tell her that we've it. actually <laughs> gotten rid of most of the tieflings. What's up? Everyone's frightened of something. My fear is hardly irrational when you see the fangs on those things. Silver? Oh, he's fine. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. Everybody noticed. They're ravenous <laughs> predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. Oh my god, trauma? <laughs> I'll try to avoid wolves in the future where possible. Everyone's got their own fears, I won't judge yours. We can scarcely afford to show weakness right now. I hope this won't be a problem. Wolves though, really? They're just dogs with no table manners. No, everyone's got their own fears. Really? Some might think it makes me a liability. Maybe that's what I like about you. You're different. Well, we haven't actually fought any wolves that I can recollect, so I think you're okay. All right. Let's keep going. We'll talk to Korga. Or maybe we should talk to Wrath first, actually. Let's see what he's What's doing. What's discussion? Until Master Halston returns, my eyes must stay on Korga. Oh, that wasn't an invitation, bud, but okay. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. Oh, he's dead. Ah, <laughs> uh, Zevlor is dead. Indeed. Then when the lightning comes, it has one fewer to strike. I do hope you didn't come expecting uh, my thanks. That would be most perplexing. What the hell just happened? <laughs> 
Um. Oh, okay. The right of thorns. It is the tree father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Wow. You're talking about me, you know. I am an outsider. We just let her run off. She's a child. A devil child. One who tried to steal from us. Findle. Yet she failed. That's what matters. Oh, my saviour. I wish you could have visited in better times. In better times. I like that accent. <laughs> um... All right, fine. So no one gives a shit. That's fine. Let's go back to the Whispering Depths. I want to see if you can jump in that hole. So I'm thinking, like, why on earth would it be lit up like this? Like, it feels like it's jumpable. I don't know. Um, I think, though, what I'm going to do... For the fall. Let's go. Alright, and now we're gonna jump off. <laughs> Just gonna jump. Wee! Oh my god, we can. <laughs> oh, mushrooms. Oh, that looks like one we can pick. Do we have to spend so long poking about down here? Broken bones. Oh! Gods, what's happening? The matriarch! Hey! Oh, poisoner's robe. Oh god, what's that? Go, go, go. Wait, loot along the way. Everyone knows the rules. What was that? A minotaur. Um. Should mind my step. Mate, you're gonna get it's found out. Let's do a surprise attack on him. Oh shit, you're up there, bro. Uh-oh. Go! Oh, we got a crit. Wait, why is just Smox and Astarian in? Lazelle and Shadowheart Ready. aren't in. Unseen. wonder if I can get a pot shot off here. Oh, it was a crit and that was sick. Lazel, my love, are you in combat? You're not. Dude, I cannot believe the matriarchs down here. Can she get a shot off? Nice. Uh my path be true. Hell yeah. Nothing will stand in my way. All right. Um. I wonder if I can do that, like hideous laughter, forty five, probably not. Dissonant whispers. 45, no, they mustn't. I'm gonna do the piercing shot, why not? I'll go on the one that hasn't been injured yet. Oh, nice, and it's surprised. Huh, does that mean Astarian gets to do another shot at them? 
I wonder if I can jump up here. No? Too high. Not enough movement. Alright, fair, whatever. Uh, just go along here, I guess. Alright. Time for a cuddle. Time for a cuddle? Is that what he just said? Don't mind if I do. I don't suppose you can make it for a melee attack. Oh, you can. Let's go. Delicious. Ooh, got a crit. That was sick. Let's do an offhand. Beautiful. Can you move? Yeah. Swimming. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Oh, they're surprised. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's do the shield on a starian. Nice. Um, just gonna keep her back here. Yeah. All right. As well collect that. Ooh. Can I jump up here? Oh, I can. Nice. Go for the throat. Go for the throat, absolutely. No, no advantage. Okay. That's fine. Nice. What was that? A hit for ten? Oh, whoops. Didn't realize that would happen, but that's okay. Alright, Lazel, let's do it. Mm, let's see if I can do a sweeping attack. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, nice one. Alright, let's do another one. Can we do sweeping again? We can. Let's go. Oh, a miss on that guy. Uh, oh, we hit him for six. That was awesome. All right, cool. Oh, jumped on me. No worries. Mate, uh, she can just... Oh. What do you mean? All right, that's fine. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. No, she has to get a lot closer. Oh, what's that? A nightlight. Oh, I turned it off. Oh, well, whatever. That's fine. <laughs> can I hit you from here? I can. Woo! Good work, mate. Beautiful. Charge. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Let's go. Oh, yes. Nice one. 15. Let's go. So hit him with a vampire bite. A five. That's good. Sometimes the only way out is through. Uh. Bandage from up here, that's good. Oh, for eight, that's awesome. Um, heal a starion. Beautiful. All right, Lazel, let's do this. What does she want to do? A lacerate? Let's try lacerate. Ooh, 13. We'll heal ourselves. Nice, here we go. Shadow Heart, what do you want to do? Sacred Flame? Sounds good. Let's go. Oh god, you missed. Well done. <laughs> let's uh let's jump up here. At least we're out of the way a little bit more then. If he does that charge again, but he might jump on us, I don't know. Oh 
Jesus, there goes Smox. That's right, we're going to take him out. Oh, one more Astarian. Can you do it? There we go. Very good. All right, I need somebody to get you up, please. How delicious. Um, great, let's loot and then we'll go back to camp. Oh, what's that? Amulet of the Unworthy. Grants resistance to slashing, grants vulnerability to bludgeoning. That's one for Gale. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Viridian crystal. Cool. Shall we? Uh, rogue's morsel. What else was there? Chasm Creeper. Yo, I can't believe this, the matriarch was down here. I... <gasps> it's another Minotaur. Oh. Why is he so wounded? Still breathing, despite everything. You know what? Just take one of these. How about four of these? We'll take four of those. <laughs> Keep your distance, darling. Let's see, Starion, can you... Neither seen nor heard. Mate. Let's just go get him. Yes. Fungal spores. Is a little blood mist too much to ask for? Wait, this feels very bad. A long way to go still. Where'd he go? More oh, sugar. Coming. Hush. Do you hear it? They're coming. They're coming. Who? Who's coming? Tell me I'm not imagining that voice. Still your mind. Uh, Cleric of Shah, pray for fortitude against the mes mental trespass? Why don't we do that one? Control your thoughts. It seems I'm not the only one listening. They're coming. You're coming. Pardon? Wait, where did the Minotaur go? Like, for reals? <gasps> Wait. Uh... Hello? Right. Don't mind if I do. I don't think this is a good idea. Huh? Uh oh. Oh. What is that? What is that? I've heard tales of their viciousness. Who? All right, we really need to rest. <laughs> Just after I loot, obviously. What's this? Careful, Lazel. It's dark around here. Would be a terrible shame to lose you forever. Yes. Do keep your wits, Shadowheart. Should a dagger suddenly slice your neck, we may never know who's to blame. <laughs> Back? We are not welcome here. This much is clear. This is oh, what is happening? That minotaur is burned. What's in here? I think that gives us a clue. <laughs> um, and there's lots of bodies. 
maybe let's um such depth to the shadows i don't care what others say about the end oh sorry shadow heart <laughs> just just really cut you off there I'm bro i'm used to a crypt's gloom this is something else why don't yeah okay let's rest at the camp so that we can get all our skills etc back That's cool. The camp is beautiful. Right. What now? Uh, yeah, just resting, actually, Smoxy. Um, right, let's do it. Let's see. Come Ooh. on, come on. What are you hiding? Can you summon the dead? Bring them back. Can you, um, can you shut up and let me read? Can you summon the dead, bring them back? Why would he want to do that? Like, because he's sort of technically dead? I didn't say anything. Need some help? Stay silent. Um, let's stay silent. No, I won't kill them. Well, maybe Shadowheart. Oh! I can't. I won't. No, stop! Oh my gosh. Let me go! Jesus. Ah. Uh, hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, you're not killing anyone in this party. What the hell was that? Good book? Good book? A unique read, certainly. A tome of necromancy guarded by spirits. I barely opened it when they started whispering from the shadows. Interesting. Now, every time I open it, the voices surge back into my mind. I can't reason with them. They exist to protect that book. Mm, Gail would take it off your hands. What secrets? Is there anything we can do? Then stop reading it. I'm not giving Gail that book. I'm going to say, is there anything we can do? Maybe. Maybe not. It's hard to know what's lurking in here. Someone went through a lot of trouble to protect this tome. It has to be something more than a book of cantrips. Still, I doubt this will help us with our parasites. Maybe it's better to put it aside for now. Yes, best to focus on what's urgent. Keep at it, maybe you'll figure out a way. What are you hoping to find in there anyway? I could hold on to it if you like. I want to know what he wants to find. It's a book of necromancy, full of secrets about controlling the dead, returning the dead to life, and who knows what else. Whatever's in here, it might give me an edge over Casador. Oh. Mm, free me from him entirely. Yeah, okay. Although I can't make any progress as long as those spirits remember their mission. It seems to be all they know. Still, if nothing else, Maybe I can beat Cazador to death with it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Best be on my oh, way. I've got more. Mate, I... <laughs> Maybe kill Shadowheart. Let's just see what Shadowheart has to say first and then we'll go to Astarian. Shall's blessings upon you. Um... I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Okay. I might have to reconsi uh, reconsider traveling with you. No, I don't... I don't want to pry into whatever she doesn't want to give me. There you are. I was just thinking about you. And that delicious moment we shared the other night. Oh, were you now? <laughs> me too. The moment when you bit me? Oh my god, are we still not over it? It happened ages ago. <laughs> Save the memory, it won't happen again. Delicious, you killed me. <laughs> um, the moment when you bit me? The very same. I've had this condition for two centuries, but truth be told, <clears throat> you're my first. My first, what? Your first what? In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. 
Drinking the blood of thinking creatures is a different thing entirely. Oh. You were delectable. And now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. Oh. Okay, so that's probably why he couldn't... Well, I mean, we, we let him not stop, but... <laughs> um... They might not be so uh, be as open to the idea as I was. Hurt them, and I will kill you. No hesitation. You're looking at other necks. I'm hurt. <laughs> Good. I was getting tired of them anyway. You're looking at other necks. I'm hurt. Don't worry. There's enough of me to go around. Mate, he's got tickets. I'm a man <laughs> of tremendous appetites. I don't think they'd volunteer, of course, but it doesn't make me any less curious. Take Gale, for example. Oh, yes. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined, like well-aged brandy. Yeah. But the gift. What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. Something exotic, surely. An amnon liqueur? I'd prefer beer if it's all the same to you. Well, let's do something exotic. Oh. Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. <laughs> this is still rhetorical, right? <laughs> or theoretical, right? Keep your eyes to yourself. You'll make people nervous. Could I convince you to kill someone use less useful? No. Well, I would just do it myself. Um, this is theoretical, right? <sighs> Absolutely. A mere thought experiment. So... In the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? Oh, I much prefer eating fr uh, flesh to blood. Okay, that's fair, I guess. <laughs> Gale, no question. He is a hottie. I could be tempted to try Lazel. No, I couldn't. If I had to, Shadowheart. You, of course. Oh, man. I mean, yeah, we would do a Starian for sure, but Gale as well. I'd, I'd try a bit of Gale, I think. Ah, a refined palate. I can't disagree. Ooh. Although, the more I <laughs> think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. Mmm. <laughs> Good hunting. I don't think out there will taste as good as the alternatives, but I'll make do. Sweet dreams. So you were coming to me tonight or not? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Mate, this camp is awesome. Something good here, I hope. Um, speaking of which, let's go talk to Gail. Where is Gail? There's Lazelle. Uh, Starry and Shadowheart. He must be up here. Oh God, where the hell is he? Oh, here he is. Oh, he's next to Withers. Just what I need. I do enjoy our conversations. What do you need? Well, if I could tell you about what a Starian just said about you, my dear. <laughs> um. Well, dude, oh, he could join us back in our party. I forgot because we've just been hanging out with Shadowheart, haven't we? Um, let's take Gale out. Oh, nothing would give me greater pleasure. Which of our esteemed company am I stepping in for? Let's, yeah, take Shadowheart's place. One. Lead on. I wonder back. if he needs a level up. He does. Me... You are now very lucky, Gale. Who's a lucky boy? Let's get going. Best. Let's go. If not over, then through. I'll give it a shot. Oh, what's happening now? Oh, sugar. Where are we? Oh, I'm with Daddy again. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. 
I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. I don't think I've used it yet. <laughs> things haven't gone as you expected. You thought Nettie might be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was reaffirm the danger. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Am I? So what should I be doing? I don't care about the tadpole. I have been offered a great power by my butler. <laughs> Tell me who you are. It was worth a shot. There must be some way to get rid of the tadpole. I'm done seeking solutions. I don't care. I've been offered a great power by my butler. Ambition is good. You are resourceful and will gather many allies to aid your strength. Use them how you will, but whatever you do, a word of advice. Do not listen to that false butler. He knows nothing of what the tadpole is capable of. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Oh. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. Oh. The parasites were merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. So I should just leave it then? Well, how do I destroy the source of the tadpole's magic? I thought you said you could protect me. What is the sickness? How do you know so much about these tadpoles? Tell me more about this magic. Okay, do I want to ask about the tadpole that's in my head or what's happening in Faerun? I think I just want to know about what's happening in my own head, right? Tell me more about the magic. It imbues the parasites with special powers. Some that benefit, most that harm. But more importantly, it enables the hosts to be controlled. Oh. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. Right. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the true souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Uh-oh. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Oh, God. Uh, my mind tells me to do foul things. Are you sure your protection is working? <laughs> So who are you? How is it that you protect me? Why are you protecting me? I don't trust you. I, are you protecting me? Is your protection working from my own mind? I protect you from becoming a mind flayer. I cannot protect you from yourself. Okay, that's fair. But I know what it is like to be burdened by forces outside of your control. We are alike. You and I. Are we? Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Who are you? Hells. They need me. I have to go. What's going on over there? Is there anything I can do to help you? Why would I ask if I can help them? <laughs> Tell me where I can find you. Wait, what do you need me to do? Tell me where I can find you. No. It isn't safe. The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. Follow the cultists' trail. They will lead you to their masters. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. 
<laughs> he almost touched my face. <laughs> oh gosh. <sighs> right. Um Let's a, just talk to Astarian one last time before we go. I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. Yes, actually. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift too. Did it? Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. What did it give you? Uh, whatever at the, uh, whatever's at the heart of this cult, we have to find it by any means possible. I don't like it. This whole thing feels like a trap. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. Hmm. On the one hand, you're right. On the other, don't be so wet behind the ears. <laughs> Did you actually want something? Or are you just here to spoil my fun? <laughs> you can feed on me. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. I'll see you tonight. Okay. I guess we get back to it. That Zathisk you mentioned intrigues me. Care to tell me a bit more? An intricate device crafted by Millar, our most gifted artisans. I am sworn to say no more. I'm going to stay away from that door because that minotaur ran towards it and then got burnt. So I say let's go back to where we were. I'll take that. Go back to where we were and see if it leads somewhere else. Okay, yeah, here's the spider. Here are the minotaurs. Oh, is that a rope ladder? Let's see. Tell me, Lazel, what is it like on the astral plane? Your home realm intrigues me. Githyanki lay their eggs on other planes. They cannot mature in the astral. I will only be welcomed once I obtain a mind flayer's head. that oh no one stopped me yet <clears throat> storehouse that's the storehouse why is everything shaking What's gonna Oh What? Who's for hire? Oh. 
open up. Why do I feel like something bad's going to happen? I am enjoying our works together. Aren't you, Dan? Um, sure. <laughs> In silence. Poor Astarian, shut down. God, yeah, I just feel like something's gonna jump out at us for sure. What I really need is I just need a waypoint. That's right, there's locked crates here. A crooked touch. Oh, some throwing items. Let's hope for gold. And what about in these other ones? Did I just discover then? A waypoint? No. I just got 40 XP for just walking. Thirty, jeez. Is that gonna shoot off again? Oh no. So literally the entire reason to come up here is just to loot this stuff and that's it. Alright, well, guess we'll just go back down again. go down here or no? Oh, I can. So where did I go? There's the Minotaur. Okay, so I was up here. Great. Oh, a heavy chest. Oh, oh scared me. <laughs> Scroll of Hypnotic Pattern. Tim Mask. What is that? Into my love. You've a particular way with words, Gail. Perhaps oration suits you more than battle. 
They're not mutually exclusive. The weave is served best with a dash of elements. This is like some kind of underground rumbling thing. Oh. Wait a second. <laughs> What's going on here? Um. Careful. Even the mushrooms down here can't be trusted. Right, okay. Well, if Gail says it, it must be true. Ooh. Do I want to go grab those? Oh, I do. Oh! Prowess in battle is remarkable, as is your battle stance itself. Prathajak, a technique known to few outside Kalea. Shall I teach you? I'll pass. Thank you. I prefer abjuration. Gee, they didn't last long, the spores that come out. What's over here? Oh, gee. I don't know where to go. Well, there's another. Oh! Oopsie. Oh, what is that? Restless Mike? My Conard? Who is laughing? Is it Smocks? I think it was. Hideous laughter. That must have been what I just had. Let's talk to these guys. You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others. Brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. You see a vision, your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Oh. Focus on your parasite and connect with the Sovereign. Tell the truth of the parasite. You only seek safe passage in your search for treatment. I am traveler seeking adventure. Seek understanding. Focus on the Sovereign's song. Hmm. Intimidation. My purpose is private. Let me pass or I will, and I will leave you unharmed. These tricks of the mind don't frighten me. I'll kill you. Um, I kind of want to seek understanding. You detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. I sense your fear. I've come to aid you. Well, that's a lie. We don't even know what they, <laughs> they need. Focus on the parasite and connect. Um, maybe I've come to aid Fungal you. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Nice. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Ooh. Okay. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Ebon Lake Grotto. Thunder 
hideous and mould glaze the grotesque creature's face and body. A voice drifts into your mind as you gaze upon the misshapen servant. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. Okay, so don't talk to anyone else. Wizard of Waterdeep. Oh god, not now, Gale. <laughs> My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Um, yeah, we'll give you an artifact. Where was that necklace we just picked up? That one, yeah. Thank you. Here we go. Do you feel better? Oh, good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. Oh, God. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Oh, no. Go on, you're among friends. There's no need I trust you, Gail. This better be good. I wasted a small fortune on you already. Um, go on, you're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. Oh dear. You have to know <laughs> who I was. Okay. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. And from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries, the Goddess Mistra. Okay. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse, and later even my lover. Oh, are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Bold, few would dare reduce a goddess to their muse. I don't believe a word of what you're saying. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. <laughs> Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. You sought to cross her boundaries? What do you mean? By getting more than she wanted you to? How exactly did you try to cross the boundaries? You thought you knew better than Mistra? You're more a fool than I thought. I applaud your ambition. How exactly did you try? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? No, I want to hear it. It's just a bit strange that you chose now. Uh, I should have known better, though. We're literally on our way to see a big fungus dude. <laughs> I gotta say, like, the voice acting in this, or just the acting in general, is is amazing. Um, I'm intrigued. Tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. Is that you? He almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. Oh, not you. <laughs> the magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. 
Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought, until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book, a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? That'd be a pretty good move. <laughs> what was the answer to that question? I guess you reeled out flowers and chocolates all together then? So your grand plan was akin to emptying a cup of water into the sea. Yes. <laughs> um... And what was the answer to that question? The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. Yes, you tried. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. Lol? <laughs> I was mistaken. <laughs> Sounds like she already did that. I obtained the fabled <laughs> book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Oh. Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. Oh my gosh, that was so well delivered. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in. Into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. What is it? What do you see? Wouldn't you like to know? Yank your hand away? How are you still alive? Gods, why show me this? All this time I've been traveling with a monster? How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. Yeah, as blind. long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Can we get it out of you? Go on, you will die. I don't think I want to hear this. Go on. I will erupt. Oh shit. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. You thrice-damned rotten bastard! <laughs> You've been the greatest threat to our lives all this time! I swear I don't know to about I that. wasn't. But I've no choice but to admit I am now. Perhaps it would be best if I leave put as much distance between us as I can before the orb erupts. Oh no, I like you. I'm so, um... <laughs> I just... No. Is there anything we can do? I thought you were... We were growing closer, Gail. You should have told me right away. Unbelievable. Did you ever think... What would... Ha uh, did you ever think what would happen if the tadpole got the better of you? By rights, I should kill you. Oh my god, but did you ever think of what would happen with the tadpole? But we are growing closer. I, I think we were growing closer. You should have told me. I know. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. Oh! What? <laughs> I would hear what the others say first. Oh my god, no! I care too much about you to abandon you now. If we were to part ways, where would you go? 
You pose too grave a threat. This is goodbye. Hell fucking no. I'm not sending him away. Um, well, Lazel's going to say, yeah, get rid of him. Astarian, I have no idea what Astarian would say. Maybe get rid of him? Um, no, I care too much to abandon you. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. He just tried to fist bump me. I understand <laughs> if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. I doubt it. Let us venture forth. Oh my gosh. Lisa, what do you have to say about it? Speak. Mate, she's just so sassy. Uh, these dreams linger in my memory. Do you think that strange figure will come back? It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasites served a geish elder. But I believe they serve a greater master still. A greater master? Who or what could that be? A question that burns in my belly day and night. Elders and collectives abide by their own tenets. It would require a powerful creed to unite them. And now this voice, this creed, finds our own ears. If it reaches this plane, it may reach others. Starion, do you have anything to say about Gale? To think oh, you do. Gale's had this devastating war within himself the entire time, and only just mentioned it. Who'd keep a secret like that from his friends? You can't trust anyone these days. Mate, you fucking bit me. <laughs> you freaking killed me, so let's not talk about trust right now, okay? <laughs> All right, Gail, do you have anything to, to say now? Always a delight to speak with you. What can I do? I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about in your story. If you ever feel the netherese magic taken over you, what will you do? I, uh, I swear what happened to Alfira wasn't my fault. I'm not going to go down that route. So, yeah, what will you do if you feel it taking over? If it should ever come to that. If I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death, alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. Hmm. And what about the Mighty Lord? Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavoured to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable, to be mistaken. Well, you touched her. As Carsus aimed his <laughs> spell at her, she began to unravel, and with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost, and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral. The end of Carsus and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. So at that moment in time, all magic was gone? No good ever comes from mortals wanting to be gods. You have to admire the man's ambition. 
He very nearly succeeded. Actually, that's true. He did almost succeed. If it takes the death of a god to stop you, I'd say your ambition has gotten somewhat out of hand. <laughs> Not that I'm one to talk, of course. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsis. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. Oh my god. Trying to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. He's still in love with her? I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's still in love with her? He looks so freaking sad. Oh my gosh, let's leave him alone. Oh my gosh, he just looks so freaking sad just then. What path lies before me? Okay, don't take anything. Oh, great, we've got a waypoint. Ancient Sigil Circle. Is that what the waypoint is called? No, what's the waypoint called? <laughs> Under dark. Ah, my conid colony. All right, cool. Let's see. Who are we looking for? Perhaps if I was right, I should get a mask. Who's that? Noxious my conid. Oh. Lurg. Mm. Uh oh. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills oh. into your skull. The spores connecting mind to mind. Oh, the spores. Lurg. Proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Or perhaps not. Mm, your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Well, thank you. Never heard of the Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Uh, basically, we killed a bunch of spiders and then I decided to try to jump into the big chasm. Like, honestly, I kind of got lost down here. Yeah, I would say that. A mind flayer infected me with a tadpole. I collect mushrooms to sell on the surface. Honestly, I kind of got lost down here. A common phenomenon in the Underdark, I'm afraid. Could I ask what you were searching for to begin with? Uh, explain the whole story. You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Blurg. samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't done. Not just me, all my mates too. No cerebral ah. forces. That's impossible. What the hell? That's intriguing. Are you looking to have it? Extracted. Uh, what? Jake, your head will make a fine trophy for my queen. Please hold. I understand your rage against my kin. One of my brethren forced a tadpole into your eye. Or ear, perhaps. But I assure you, I stand with the Society of Brilliance. Not the colonies of my people. The Myconids wouldn't appreciate us fighting here. I'll listen. I want nothing to do with you. I'd never trust a Mind Flayer attack. Hmm. I'll listen. Fool. They infest your head and invade your dreams and still you would parley. I ask only that you refrain from violence. 
I respect that your opinion of my kind may be charged. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. Is that a good idea? Let him... S oh god, screw it. Let him search. <laughs> As the Melowong's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. Can you extract the tadpole? What happens if that stasis goes away? What happens if the stasis goes I away? I can only theorize, but I suspect your transformation would be both agonizing and instantaneous. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. Well, yes. But that wasn't my point. Um, I don't think they can extract it. Thanks for the information. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. <laughs> There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Bypass? What kind of alchemy are we talking about? Isn't the stasis why the tadpole hasn't killed me yet? No, I'm done with all of this. Well, what are you talking about bypass? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. Oh, I have some spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. Eating those don't, doesn't sound like a great idea. Lovely. So where do I find these mushrooms? The Underdark, of course. Although they are quite rare. And their discovery... perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Oh. We know about Mistra. <laughs> Why would a cleric have a bunch of dangerous mushrooms? Where does this Lenore live? All right, I'll come back when I find the mushrooms. Where does Lenore live? The southwest when I last saw her. Although her tower does have a tendency to move. Oh God, she's in a floating tower as well. All right, I'll find the mushrooms. May your travels be safe and swift. Okay. I've never seen anything like it, Blurk. Is my species evolving? Perhaps, but at such an accelerated rate. Mm, it simply shouldn't be possible. What's this guy that we're looking for? Oh, he's like up the stairs? No? Maybe he's around here. Ha! There's the sovereign. Okay, let's talk to this person first. Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Uh, don't think so. Can you describe him? Bald. Blue tunic. Dumb as a stick. <laughs> wow. Uh, I haven't seen him. <laughs> right. 
Never mind. Wow, she seems really lovely. Please. I know better than to promise coin to a stranger. He'll find his own way out, or he won't. I'll wait a little longer. What a bleeding waste it'll be to come all the way down here for nothing. <laughs> oh, can I look at your wares? Well? Show me your wares. Amulet of Restoration. Healing word. Mass healing word. We could use that for mass healing word. Let's get it. How much is it actually? 320. Let's do it. I need to put that... Um, so when a wearer casts a spell that deals poison damage, it deals an additional 1 to 4 poison damage. I don't know if he does ever do poison damage, but... Um, I mean, he'd still look nice in it, wouldn't he? <laughs> Alright, and my character is going to wear this necklace with the restoration thing. Starion can speak to the dead. Weapon enhancement plus one. Four to eleven. Well, hello. Ooh, five to twelve. Yeah, hell yeah, he's getting that one. Black, it's well be done. She can get this crossbow. Oh, wait. Keeping the old turn up. What did we need to get? We needed a mushroom. Um. Oh god, I really need to find Halson. <laughs> uh, I gotta find a mushroom picker. Here we are. This is what I need. Tin mask spores. I need to get what? Tongue of Madness Mushroom. Do you have that, lady? Seems like a good moment to talk. Well? Tongue of Madness. A hill giant finger? Ew. <laughs> No tongue of madness, all right. <laughs> Can't slow down. All right, let's talk to the sovereign glut. I think this is who I'm supposed to talk to. Fleshwalker. Tongue talker. Far you've come. Reach into memory. Tell me of home. Make up the kind of treasured memories you'd expect the sane to feel. <laughs> I don't have a home. Make blanket, uh, me blanketed in flayed skin, fireplace burning flesh, sipping a glass of gold, uh, evasion, the banks of the cr the what? Chiyonotha. Uh, imagine the bustle of the city marketplace, the wide. Should we try to pretend to be a normal person? Let's do like the banks of a river, green and fertile. It cringes in response to your sunny vision. Oh. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove 
filled with decaying myconid corpses. Dwega destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. I do not belong here. I am not welcomed here. Oh. I don't think that was our quest objective. Sovereign spawn. Oh, well it's... It's gotta be... Oh, up there. My bad. No one back ah! home will ever believe this. <gasps> well, the haste spots are pretty good. What does the creature do? The sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker, I show you a memory. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Oh. Dwega. Oh. Dwarves, chopping myconid remains. Okay. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. Oh. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. So we have to go to the lake? I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Why did... Why did the Dwegar attack? Sure, I can handle these Dwegar nearby. The Bard response. Oh, we've got a couple of Bard responses. Planting spores in a corpse. What magic is this? Uh, forget it. If you want them dead, you can kill them yourself. Bard, reply in kind. Tell me of the invaders, how the Scourge move fights, how it will crumble. Barge deception, intimidate the sovereign and lie. Good tidings, the scourge is defeated, you are safe. Well, let's reply in kind. The sovereign's song twists into images. Dwergar changing size, slipping in and out of invisibility, oh. invoking craven divinity. An illusion comes over you. A Dwergar choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. So I'm gonna throw the dust at them. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Ooh. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot and they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will await word. Hmm. Okay. You harbor a fugitive gnome, admirable of you. What fugitive gnome? Bard, planting spores in a corpse, what magic is this? Why don't I ask what about the magic? We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. Oh god. So he's performing a kind of necromancy as well? How do I gain this power? The, the spore magic is repulsive. You die by my hand. How do I gain this power? You may not. The spores hear only the circle. They dance to no other harmony. Which gnome are you talking about, Smox? The Sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. Okay. Hask spore grenade. Oh! A spore servant. Alright. Well, I, um... 
As much as I've loved this little foray into the Underdark, I feel like I've still got a heap to do up at the Goblin Village. I've still got to go into the Goblin Village and find Holson. So I think I will leave this episode here. Um, and we'll see what we can get up to next episode. My name is Smox from Celebrant Quest. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and I'll see you in the next episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.